second episode on the 3D printing book part series. Uh, the first part we showed, how I showed how to download something from Thingiverse, print it out. And the second episode, I am going to show you how you design your own parts using a free application, web application called Tinkercad uh, for design basic shapes. What I'm going to cover is this ST1000 uh, Teller Pilot extension. They're about 40 quid new. Uh, I need two of them, so that's 80 quid for not nothing too complicated. It's just a meal thread, but a tube, plea meal thread. Uh, so let's jump into Tinkercad and we'll see how something like this can be put together quite easily. Okay, so as you can see here, here is kind of what we're talking about, a 5-inch Auto Helm Teller Pilot Posh Pusher Rod extension, £44. Uh, so if we jump on over to Tinkercad, as you can see, I've had a few parts that I've been working at. Um, the very first thing I ever 3D printed for a boat was a very simple uh, Sailfish 18 the mast so basically for the the sheave uh, the main halyard sheave at the top basically there's two of these wee plastic things you screw in um into the track but one of them had disappeared whenever i sort of took the took it apart um so it's very simple if i jump in here it's literally two objects joined together so at the time i would have measured I would have measured the distance, so you can see that's 13 mil by 13 mil. So it's a 13 mil square, I think. Don't know what the height is. So it's 13 by 11 height. So if we ungroup, so everything in Tinkercad is basically put together by grouping shapes like this here. So if we ungroup, you'll kind of see what I've done. So there's this cylinder. So the cylinder is just kind of straight through, so that creates a hole. So whenever we group these two objects together, uh, that creates basically a square with a hole in it. So if we go like that there, boom. Um, yeah, so that, that was literally all I had to do to, to create that. Uh, I was quite useful because I couldn't find anywhere to buy it. Uh, so let's go back now and see what else we have. Um, I know in the last episode I had basically mentioned what sort of re reignited my interest and um, had a similar problem on the Jaguar 21 um, and this is where this thing came in so this was the for the the seal feeder so basically the, it was M5 bolts which wouldn't fit in the mass track so what I did was create this uh, it was a bit of a hack I downloaded the STL for basically a T nut um, for like a 3D printer for an M4 nut and then I joined two of them together and put a spacer and stuff like that there and raised the height. Um, so if you kind of un ungroup that, you can kind of see where I've put, made that wee spacer in the middle and then I've took these bits and raised the height and whatnot. Um, does does the trick. Did my trick anyway. Um, still on the boat and still working. So, no, pleased with that. Uh, again, it's another thing you couldn't buy. Um, but it mean, meant the sail feeder that I'd spent good money on I could actually use. Uh, so let's go back to what we were actually talking about here. So the ST1000. So th this one has been good fun. Um, I've started off with a very small size, one millimeter, because it didn't, or not one millimeter, one inch, um, 50 millimeter, or no, 26, or whatever it is, um, because I didn't want to waste too much, because uh, you have to sort of tinker to get the right sizes and things because the tolerance level with the, the printer nozzle can sometimes knock you out a bit so you have to sort of make things bigger or smaller um, so if I so what we'll do is we'll make a copy of this and then we'll go back I want to actually because I don't want to rack this here um, so if we go back I'll create a new object I just want to split this out so you can see so if we do a new of course, this is what you'd be doing if you were creating something. You just go ahead and create a new design. Give you a blank canvas. So I'm going to ungroup this. So there's basically three parts to this. The, the mail thread. And if we take a look here. So ungroup that 
Okay, so three parts. So you've got your mail thread, which is actually made up of several objects. Um, I've got like a wee cylinder at the top just to sort of give it that wee edge, sort of make it easier to insert. Uh, there's a thing called isometric thread, uh, which is a bit of a, not because it's not quite metric as you can say, kind of see here, it's a, um, more imperial. Um, it's actually not a standard size that I can see. Um, I'd sort of been Googling and found some bits and pieces and it was 19, uh, rota- or not, 19 threads per inch. Uh, one thing to note, do not use the rotations as thread per inch. Um, I know I've got 19 here, but it didn't actually make any odds. Um, it's actually a lot more than one inch anyway. So as you can see, it's not quite. Um, it's the pitch you want to be looking at. And that, that kind of gives you, if you work out your dots per inch, or not dot, threads per inch into the pitch and then work out your diameter. And then that's kind of how you work your thread. And uh, So this is kind of around where I found the uh, ST1000. Um, so we take a look. So it's, it's kind of that. I then wanted to make it a bit smaller. So basically a, a big cylinder that's a hole. So I'll just clear out half or roughly whatever. I sort of worked it out by the threads and the, the other one. And that's just the, the wee thing. So what we do then just to join it together, if we do that, group them. And it creates that. So similarly, we look at the you can kind of see if zoom in here I have a wee, like a wee chafer things so it'll, it makes a hole in the bottom for whenever it print, prints so it's easier to insert the the threads and um, there's a bit of a you start off with a male thread uh, it's going to be slightly bigger um, just just for the tolerances if you have the exact same size as the the meal it just wouldn't work at all um so again we're, we're we're changing the height here so what we do is um we'll actually join these two together first so that cuts off the top and then we'll turn that into a hole and because i want this bottom bit the shafer bit to be a hole too and we group those together And then the main body, so obviously we can make this whatever height we want. So at the minute I only have it at one inch, uh, 20, 25.4. Um, once, I get, once I'm happy with the design, um, I'll, I'll make several, because the plan is to make one, two, three, four, five, um, and then I can print out whatever size I need. Um, I, I'll be hopefully putting these on eBay, check the links down below. Um, if, you, if you don't have a 3D printer and don't want to design your own, I'll be able to sell you, sell you one cheap. Uh, so here is how we, so we've got these three objects and we want to align them. So what we do here is click this and then we go here and then we go here. And that should be all centered. And then we do our And we group them together. And you can kind of see the, the female thread and the wee sort of the, the bit the spacer just to give this the room to get the screw in. I find sometimes at the bottom there can be wee bits bits of plastic from the, the, the front first layer, so it's better to give a wee bit of space to let the threads, the male threads go in. Um so that's it. So then if we want to print it, so we just do export. STL and if I double click here and I'm still using so repair model it's fine so you can see that's it there and start slicing so I'm using ASA I'm testing it out at the minute and uh, it's supposed to be UV resistant and quite strong but I'm just not getting the right settings yet it's just not strong enough for me so I'm doing something wrong and um, I've got a few other materials to try as well and um, I'll cover material materials and material choice and to show the differences between those in another video so subscribe um so he clicks slice and that's basically because of uh, asa is quite high temperature i've got the the adventure three with a higher temperature nozzle so it can go up to 265 for nice 
things like nylon, ASA, and uh, polycarbonate, all the, the really strong stuff would you want on your boat? So you hit yes. And then send to printer. Here's the finished article, so you can kind of say we just done a one inch one because I didn't want to waste too much filament. Um, so this is the male thread, female thread, so kind of just your standard extension bar. Um, I've bulk, it's a wee bit thicker, um, so here's an official one, so you can kind of see it's a wee bit thicker and uh, just to give it a bit of strength, obviously it's made out of plastic. Um, I'll be honest, this isn't kind of like an Instagram YouTube thing where it's just like, oh yeah, it worked first time. I'll be honest, didn't. I've had a bucket full of failed ones. And um, testing different parameters, as you can see, the early ones weren't, there wasn't a lot of strength. Um, so it was kind of breaking off there. So um, trial and error to get better print, prints. Um, I needed to up the temperature and things I got there. Um, just to show how it fits. So it actually fits snugly enough. Um, I'll be honest, working with threads and 3D printing is not the nicest of things because you have to you adjust one parameter, then you have to resize it, things like that there. Um, because obviously things like layer height and print width make make differences to threads and things like that there. Ever so slightly, but it's just enough to knock it off. Well, as you can see, yep. So that's a one inch one. I know I know you can buy one inch ones online and they're they're quite expensive for all they are, really. Um, I'll put the end on. <clears throat> there we go. So that was kind of an extension. As you see, even with the bigger bit, still fits perfectly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to print uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 off, uh, stick them on eBay and I'll put a link down below. So if you don't have a 3D printer and want to save some money and try a 3D printed version out, uh, you can help the channel by purchasing a couple of these. Um, for those that do have a 3D printer, I'm going to put a link to the models down below so you can you can get them there and print your own ones. Um, I'm going to do another, the next episode is going to be slightly different. Um, so, yep, subscribe. It's going to be 3D printed, but there's going to be some manual things to it. I'm um, going to make a clutch for a teller. I know this is all sort of kind of teller, but this is, it isn't a teller pilot related this time. It's actually to avoid a teller pilot. So it's like a wee clutch where you can stop your teller halfway if you need to go and change something if you don't have a teller pilot. Um, so I've seen this thing in Thingiverse, so I'm going to print it off and then show you how I build it and things I got there. Um, so if you like that sound of that there, just hit subscribe, like the video, thanks for watching.